Hello, I'm Taxapa and in this video I will show you how I create an energy system for RPG Maker. So this consists in energy production, energy storage and something to spend our energy like machines or whatever you like. So to start off let's just make a solar panel. So let's create an event. I have some uh, textures prepared for this. So I use this one. Same as characters, action button. And then we will need to have uh, two variables. One will show, show us how many energy we are producing per second. And the other one will show us the total amount of energy that we got. So let's start off of the energy per second. Let's create a variable and let's call it solar power. And we want to add one because every solar panel will add one energy per second. OK, that's it. Then we need to create a control cell switch on new event page. Cell switch on right here. I have an animation prepared for this. So in this part, the solar panel will be on active. So it will need to be a parallel process. Stepping for the animation. And now we need to add another variable and this variable will control the total amount of energy that we are producing. So let's call it total power. And it's producing one energy per second. And the only, only reason that we are adding a total power and a solar power is because later on we are going to have not only solar power energy but other types of energy and we need to control all of them. So that's why we make the solar power, the total power. So for this to be one per second, right now the game tells us that this will be 60 per second. Because a second have 60 frames, so we need to change that. So we make a wait command and make for 60. We wait 60 frames, that means one second. So this means that the solar power will produce one energy per second. So let's test this out. But first, I have some uh, scripts, some plugins that I already set up. And uh, I'm using Orange HUD. I will put the link in the description. You don't need this for the system, but uh, it's really a cool way to just check the variables and values. So this one, okay. So I have one for the solar power and another one for the total power. So let's test this. So as you can see right here, we have our solar power that tells us our energy per second and the total power. E is just a letter for energy. So let's turn the solar power on. So it's on and you can see that we are producing one energy per second and the number of total power is growing up. OK, so let's make some more solar panels. Now, if we activate them, one, two, three, four. Now you can see we are producing four energy per second and the total power, you can see it's growing up much faster. OK. And that's it for the solar power. So now let's create our generator. So I have a texture prepared for this. This one, action button, same as characters, nothing of this. And we need to check if the player has cold in the inventory. So let's make a conditional branch. Oops, not a loop. Conditional branch, item, call. And if party has call, we need to activate the self switch. Then new event page, self switch. I have an animation for this. Stepping for showing the animation, same as characters, and this need to be a parallel process. 
so right here the machine is off and right here is on and if we have coal we can turn on the machine but then after the machine is turned on we need to check again if the player still has coal so let's check it again conditional branch item coal and we'll need to create an else branch because if it doesn't have coal we need to shut it down okay so right now we need to create another variable like we did for solar power but this time for coal power okay let's make set to 10 this means that the generator will produce 10 energy per second okay now we want to add the total power so it's the same thing but with total power and we'll add will not set we'll add 10 per second and in order to do this with 10 per second we need to make a wait command 60 frames that means one second we also want to make the coal disappear from our inventory otherwise this will run forever if we have coal so let's make a change items and we'll decrease coal from our inventory So what this means is that with one coal we'll produce 10 energy, okay? But if we don't have coal, we need to set the coal power to zero, meaning it's not producing energy. Zero. And we will need to turn this control self switch off in order to the, the generator to shut down and go to this state. So let's make control cell switch A off. Okay. Let me just set up another line here for the call power. Let's call it line two. The variable I think it's number three. Let's call it here. Call power energy per second and the coordinates i think 50 will be just fine okay so if we test this oh we'll need coal so let's make just a treasure with coal let's change the coal value to let's say 10. so if we test this If we click here, we have no coal, so this is not going to work. But if we get some coal, we have 10 coal on in our inventory, right? But if we use it, you can see that it's producing 10 energy per second and it's growing at the time. So if we check our inventory, we have 3, 1, and so like we have 10 coal, it will produce 10. 100 energy so if we put the gener the solar panels on you can see that we are not producing coal power right now because it runs out of coal but we are producing energy per second on the solar powers and the total power is growing up so for the energy production this is it you have here two ways of producing energy you can use the two you can mix only one of them it's up to you you can make everything you want with this so this is up for this episode in the next episode i will talk about energy storage like a battery or something just to to control the amounts of energy that you can produce and then we'll talk about machines that we will use this energy for like uh, machines to to make items to mine items to do everything you want so see you next time